I just wanted to do a video to show what I'm running for a vacuum setup. Um, it's a Surge Alamo 30 pump and it's a Massport M5 oil reclaimer because the ones that are on the Surges notoriously crack on the bottom and then your oil runs out. And from that, on an oil filter to a gas fuel line to run into the oil dropper. And I have it dripping at around 80 drips a minute. The original manufacturer spec for the 30 plus was, I believe, 40. But I think that was for 15 inches of vacuum and we're usually around 18. Um, it's a Predator 212 motor. I know there's a lot of people say that they're junk, but there's the proof. 330 hours. No real hiccups. And then the moisture traps mounted around in the original frame that came with the 30. And I do have it leg bolted down to a couple of 6x8s, and that really reduced the vibration. And then on the ignition switch, or the shutoff switch, I have wired on a temperature sensor that I got from Amazon for like 12 bucks. And it's reading 37, which is in Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but I have it set to shut off at negative 0.7, which is around 30 degrees. I know the sap will flow when it's colder, but our releaser freezes up. Um, just a lawnmower on my battery. <laughs> battery out of my lawnmower, excuse me. I'm going to have that up to a 12 volt plug in so that I can hook a solar battery maintainer. And that, I have not had a problem with that battery going dead all season. I don't have it hooked up right now, but then the temperature sensor runs out. And it's completely adjustable temperature sensor. And then for the fuel line, the barb fitting connect to that line is just a siphon line. Cheapo, it doesn't even have a check valve in it. And it runs up to a boat gas tank. And I had to shove a bunch of stuff underneath it. It seems like it does a better job when it's up a little bit higher. And under the wrap is a check valve so it doesn't run the pump backwards when I shut it off. And being that it's right above the motor, I wrapped it with fireproof insulation that my buddy had extra from his big evaporator up to the up to the vacuum regulator. And on the back side, it's, I don't know if I can get in there or not, it's a three inch pulley on the motor. And then up to the standard size that came on the Surge 30 Plus. There's a spring tensioner on the idler wheel and if I pull this lever up it releases the tension. It hopped a lot in the beginning of the year and it doesn't seem to be hopping at all anymore really. And this I had put on here to hold a bucket of oil or a barrel of oil and then it was just sucking out of the cap into that. But now it's running through a filter on the more, on the oil reclaimer. I'm going through probably half or less as much oil as I was at the beginning of the season. But yeah, it does fine. It's holding 18 inches of vacuum, which isn't a whole hell of a lot, but it's a lot better than no vacuum.